So hey guys, what's up? It's Brianna and I wanted to start making my first um, DIY videos. I will be making some haul videos on thrift stores and um, if you guys would like, I would like to make some makeup tutorials or maybe some hairstyles tutorials that you guys would probably be interested in. So um, just let me know, give me some comments and you know, I'll get back to you and I'll make some videos as soon as I can. So for right now, I kind of wanted to make some DIY rings. Um, so I'm probably going to get to probably the basic um, of it. I love rings. I love um, like the pendant rings. I love vintage rings. I like all kinds of rings. And sometimes they can be pretty pricey for a ring. Just depending on how small you like it or um, just basically how big. Um, if you like chunky rings like me or just anything else. And um, sometimes they can get a bit pricey just depending on where you get it or you know how big it is or something like that. Okay, so if you want to make your own rings, you know, and kind of save you money and put, leave some money in your pocket for something else. Um... You know, basically, um, you're just going to need, you know, a few materials and sometimes people don't know, you know, what to get or um, what the materials you need to buy and how to get started. So I have some um, few materials for you so I can let you know what, you know, what kind of things you need. Basically, the first thing you're going to really need is whatever kind of um, face you want on your ring. So I have some few, um, few examples right here. Um, so here we go. Um, so I got these, um, just go to any, um, store. Um, so this is, um, actually a necklace pendant. So it actually has like lace and stuff on it. Um, this is actually for a, um, a necklace. Um, but you can actually use this as a ring. So if you know what I'm talking about, this part right here. Um, so, and I'll show you how to get this off later on in a little bit. So, I got this at Walmart for like, um, for about maybe $3, $3.50, just depending on, um, the style, if you like vintage, and I think, um, the more vintage or the more bigger you want it, the more the price it's gonna get. Um, this one I got, because I, I like turquoise, and, um, it's just another pendant, um, a necklace pendant right here. It's, um, it's like a little seaweed kind of thing. I got this one at um, Michael's. Um, I know sometimes Michael's can be a little bit pricey on their um, on their stuff. So, um, but it's totally up to you. Whatever you want to um, get your pendants or anything, or just you know, I got lots of these from from Michael's. So they have lots of them and really cute ones. Also, you're gonna, of course, you're gonna need glue, and of course, regular glue is not gonna ever work. So I got this also at um, Walmart. You could probably, I don't know if you guys heard of this. It's the um, Amazing E6000. It works on like everything. This thing's amazing. Even it says amazing on there. Yeah, so when it comes in the box, it'll look like, it'll look like this. So you can get this at Walmart. Um, it'll be about $3 just depending on what size you get it. I think there's a small possibly. So if you want to do like one or two, um, there's an option for that. So I would totally recommend um, going to Walmart to get this. Because it might be a little bit cheaper. So that will be your glue. Um, oops, yeah, that will be your glue. Um, and of course, last but not least, but you're going to need some um, something to lay down your pendant on. So what are you going to glue it on exactly? Um, they're called ring blanks. So if you guys haven't heard of them, I haven't heard of them at, from the start. I didn't even know what those were at, at first. Um, so this is what it um, looks like. It has um, a flat and on the top and um they have retractable um bands it's like a band so it can fit on like almost any size um this is a hundred pack 9.99 because my mom just used one like last night but um this is a hundred pack um i know you can get these um you know i think you can get these at ebay i i for one didn't get them at ebay i first did um but um yeah i didn't get them at ebay um, I'm not sure where I got it from. It's from a certain site that I went to. Um, I can't remember it. I can't think of it right now, but um, I'll put a link below t um, to let you guys know where I got it and, you know, um, where else you want. But I got this 100 pack for about um, 10 or $11 um, plus free shipping. So this is a 100 pack. So this is a pretty good, this is a pretty good deal. Um, so basically that's 
I think that's pretty much what you really need. So I'm excited. So let's get it started. So now we can pretty much get started. So um, I have these ring blanks. So I'm going to probably really fast right now kind of take them out to kind of still kind of show you. So there is a way that my mom found this on here though. You just come off like this. She already took them out for me, so, um, so again, I'll put these on the side here. So again, they look like this, but, and I'll actually take out a couple of them, like this. So as long as I, um, I kind of told you guys a little while ago, um, how do you get these off, or like these, because these are necklace pendants, some of these. Or if you have a button, you know, how do you get the backs off that are in the back right here? So I'm going to show you right now. Um, you're going to need, of course, pliers because you, sometimes you can get off with scissors, sometimes you can't. So scissors can be helpful too, but I kind of recommend doing um, um, pliers. So, um, let me see. I'm going to start with this one because it's, it's rock on metal. So what you do is you probably either get, let me see, the ends probably, and then you just twist it off. It should easily come off. So, um, just get the end right here and then just twist it. Let's see, I think you just twist it off. Um, oh, no, actually, just put it in the hole. And there you go. And that was pretty easy. So, there's the little thing that came off. And so, there you go. If you have rough edges on the top, you can just saw it off. But this one actually came off pretty good. So, yeah. And you just do that with with all of them. So actually, I'm gonna do that real fast before um, you know. Actually, before we keep getting started, so I'll be right back with this, and we'll keep continuing. Okay. So, anyways, um, right after it turned off or whatever happened, I already made um, I already made one. So I'll do it again because since it kind of turned off. So back to the beginning. Okay. So of course, what you're gonna need to do is get some glue. Put some glue on your um, on your ring blank. You can do it either or, but I recommend um, doing this instead of just putting right straight on to the um, the ring thing. So I'm gonna do it on this one. So just flip the back like this, and then get your ring blank. Put your glue and just put a little bit of glue because it comes out a lot and you don't want to get it everywhere. So just go like this. Yeah, and sometimes it gets messy, so. And then you just put the ring blank right in the middle of your pendant or your button. Whichever one you prefer. And then I would just let that just push down just a little. Make sure not to get on your hand. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Like, really. So you just press it down. Make sure it's even. And, yeah, that's. That's pretty much it. And then you just put it on the side. And I'll probably do another one. So let me do um, this one. Okay, so again, you get your ring blank. Then you just put just a little bit of glue on there. Again, just put a little because you don't want to get it everywhere. It's a little gooey. It's starting to come out right now. So just, just stick that. And then you just flip it around, try to get on yourself, and then just stick it on there. So right in the middle. Then you just press it down just a little. Make sure it's straight. Right in the middle. See? And then you just put that on the side. And that's, you know, I mean, that's basically pretty much it I mean I don't I don't know you know what else you know to do um so I'm gonna finish making all these right here and making more and then um leave them like that um dry for at least maybe um I'll give it at least a good 30 minutes to an hour until it's fully um fully like glued on there and um and then yeah it should you know you should be you should be done um, and I know for a lot of rings, as you can um, tell, some of them are like, um, you know, silver like this one, which is fine. 
or you have like this one which is you know and this one that is um, gold and you know it sometimes may look a little tacky and fake you know because they're silver um, just depending if you want to get gold or silver um, what you can do is this is what I do with my jewelry actually when it gets rusty um, you just basically put whatever color like this if you want to get a gold you just you just paint this gold you know and then you put like a clear coat on it so it protects the paint um, unfortunately I'm not going to do that tutorial like you know just painting it right now um, but you get my message you get my idea um, you know so or if you have like a black ring like my um, my wet seal ring you can paint it black with black nail polish um, it's very simple so that's you know there's an idea if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine it's totally up to you so I'm gonna finish making these and then I will show you what they look like after they're dry so still keep watching okay so they're pretty much dried and all done so um so they're pretty stiff um just in case I would just um when I said 30 minutes to an hour um you know um, it doesn't hurt to leave them out for like the whole night and check it out in the morning because I know for a fact they will be um they'll be pretty stiff um so yeah these I did and I'm probably gonna make more like you know later on but yeah that's pretty much how you make them and yeah this is my um my favorite one this one's gonna be my all-time favorite so I would put them on right now but I just don't you know I just don't want to try to move them out of their place or anything because I think they did that a couple times but um, but yeah so that's pretty much how you do it so I hope you guys like this DIY um, little tutorial and I will make a new video soon so I'll talk to you guys later